Hello everyone, Emily here. I am going to make a baby blanket and I'm going to use this uh, Burnett blanket twist. It's really pretty. It has some pink and white and gray and white stripes. This would be okay for a boy too, but this is, is for a girl. And there is another color in here. It almost is like a purplish color. Could be considered blue. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see the color really well. But this is um, one of the squares that I made. You can see there's different colors in it. I'm going to use this big crochet hook. It says on here that it's a 17-15.75 millimeter. So 15.75 millimeter. It's really big. I like it. And you could probably get this at Joanne Fabrics or Michaels. It's a really a big hook. I have my yarn on my hook here. I have my trusty scissors close by. And I'm going to go ahead and make a granny square with this yarn. It's going to be really big and puffy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one, going to chain two, going to chain three, and then I'm going to go into my first round stitch here on the bottom. So I'm going to go into this first stitch, this first chain, and I'm going to chain over my tail. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a double crochet. There we go. There's So this is going to count as our first and this is the second. I'm going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull it through, pull it through two, and then pull it through two. Okay, so now we have three stitches. So we are going to chain one. We're going to do three more double crochets. And then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do three more in the same stitch. We're going to do a repetition of three four times. There's one. Get me some more yarn there. Two and three. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do three more in that same stitch. This yarn is really in this. There we go. One more. Okay, so now we have went around, we have three, 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 and three. So we have a total of four sets of three. We're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of the chain three. Just going to go ahead and go in there, grab the yarn, and bring it all the way through. So we're going to go ahead and chain three. So you can see here, we're going to go into these ones right here. So this is going to be our last set of three in this hole. Okay. So you chain three. 
we're going to yarn over. We're going to go to this next opening where you had did the uh, chain one. And we're going to do three double crochets. And then we are going to chain one. And we're going to do three more double crochets in the same spot. And then you're going to chain one. You're going to look for the next opening here where you did the single crochet. You're going to yarn over and go in there and do three double crochets. And then you're going to chain one. I hope you can see this really well. This yarn is so chunky. So we're going to do that all the way around. So you're going to go to the next opening here. You're going to do three chain one, three double crochets, and then you're going to come over here and you're going to do your three chain one. And then you already have where you first started when you chain that chain three. That's going to count as one of your uh, double crochet so you're just going to do two and then you're going to connect it to the top here so let's do that I'm here at the last one so I'm going to find my open spot and then yarn over I'm going to do three double crochets yarn over go under pull it through pull it through two Pull it through the last two. And once I have my three, I am going to do a uh, chain one. Okay. So I'm going to do two more double crochets. Now I'm going to go to the top of this chain three. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a slip stitch. You can see that I have my square going really good here. So I've went around one, two times and I want to go around one, two, three, one, two, three and then I'm going to go around it with a single stitch all the way around. So I'm going to go around one more time. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chain two. This is going to be my first um, double crochet. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go in the first opening here, the first opening that has the chain one and we're only going to do three double crochets in the middle and we're going to do the three chain one and then three more in all the corners okay so I have my three I'm going to go into my corner I'm going to chain one I'm going to do it go into my corner and I'm going to do three double crochets chain one I'm going to do three more because this is my corner and then when I go to here I'll only do three and then when I go here I'll do the three chain one and another three So I went all the way around and I'm here at the end and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the third stitch 
and I am going to slip stitch into that stitch. table here. There we go. So now I'm going to start to go around it with my single single crochet. When I get here to the corners, I do um, I do three single crochets and then I chain one and I do three single crochets in the corner. But I'm going to go into each and when I, I'm going to go into one two stitches and then I go in here and do one and then I don't go into this one. I go into this one, this one, and then I'll go right into here. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go into this next stitch. Just going to do one single crochet. I'm going to go into this opening and do one single crochet. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do one single crochet, one single crochet. And then when I get here, I'm going to do three. This skein has just been very hard to get my yarn out of. Three. And then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do three more single crochets in the same stitch. And go into this next one. And I'm just going to do a single crochet all the way down. So I'm not going into this first one right here. I'm just skipping and going into this next one. So you can see that when I come to this, the threes, I'm only doing two single crochets. So I'm going to skip this. Skip this right here, and I'm going to go right into that one. So I'm here at the end and all I'm going to do is just go in to, you can see where I chained one. I'm just going to go into this, not the chain one, but up here in the opening next to the stitch. I'm just going to go in there and do a slip stitch. Pull it up a little bit. I'm just going to tie me a knot. Two of them. And I'm just going to cut it off. So I have a nice square. And I'm making 12 of these. 12 squares. So I put my squares out on my bed. And you can see that I have uh, three of my four cats are on my bed. Duck over here in the corner has uh, grabbed a couple of pieces and is using it for a pillow. And I have another cat over there just lounging with his feet on it. So. I am doing 12 squares. Uh, it's going to be a really nice size blanket, but I just wanted just you to see what I have to deal with in trying to lay my stuff out, which is fine. Um, I will make sure that I wash this blanket before it's gifted. I have my 12 squares made, and I'm going to sew them together with two different colors of pink. I have the mainstay pink and then I have Super Saver Pink. I really think these yarns are really comparable. I mean, I can feel the difference, but they're pretty comparable. So I'm gonna put them together. They're a little bit different in color, but I think that's gonna give it a nice contrast. I really like uh, the color of this uh, Super Saver. I really like this color. This is a little bit darker. So anyway, I tied them. I have them on my hook. I'm gonna take my two squares. I'm going to put the back facing each other. I'm going to work in the back loops only. I'm going to go here in the corner where you have that 
you have three and then you change one you have three which is the corner we're gonna go into that and we're gonna go through both of them to start with so we're gonna pull it through and grab the yarn and pull it through okay now we're just gonna work in the back loops we're gonna go in the back loop of this one in the back loop of the other one so you can see that the front loop on this side is here and there's a loop over here so we're going to continue to do that all the way down if for some reason yours doesn't match up you can just pull it out to the middle and um and, you know shorten it like if you have more on one on this side than you did on this side you would go into one of these and go into this one go into the next one and then go back into the same one and that will shorten this side up because sometimes it's hard to make these come out totally perfect you might have an extra stitch but we're just uh, going to do a single crochet all the way down back loops and I'm not pulling these really tight I'm leaving them nice and loose and if you run into any tails like this, you can just bury them and crochet over them. And then I'm going to go into the chain one spot and go ahead and do a single crochet. So now you can see how that's going to look. When you open it up, it's kind of in there in the back loop, and I really think it looks good. I really like it. So I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I'm going to end this right here. And I'm going to go ahead and take all of them. I'm going to do my nifty knots. I'm going to do my rows of them. And then after I get done doing my rows, um, then I'll come and do, go this way. Alrighty. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. So, I did this one, was my first one. Now I'm going to get another square, and I'm going to make sure that I have the right side. So I'm going to put the wrong sides together and then I'll have three sewn together. So I'm going to have, it's three wide, so I'm going to sew all my threes together and then I'll sew them together, uh, the three to three. So that's how I'm going to sew mine together. Hi, so you can see here that I have all my squares sewn together and so I did sew them together in threes and then I put them next to each other and sewed them all together and then I went around the outside with the single crochet and right now I'm getting ready to go around it with a double crochet here it is close up I like the the pink next to this fuzzy thick stuff so um i went around the outside to single crochet now i'm going to go around with a double crochet 
all the way around. So I'm going to make a nice border on it. I believe I'm going to go around another one more time uh, with the double crochet to give it a nice border. And then I will show you the finished project. I'm really happy with this. I think it is nice and heavy. It has some good weight to it. It's soft and it's cuddly. It really is. And using the big crochet hook with this yarn made the stitches nice and big. And you can see how using uh, two strands with different colors really gave it a nice look. So I'm going to continue to go around it and do a double crochet. I'm here in one of the corners and I want to just show you that when I went around and did my single crochet all the way around, when I came to the corners I did three single crochets. So now I'm going around for the second time and I'm doing a double crochet and what I'm doing is is I'm just doing a single crochet until I come to this middle, this middle one. In the corner and I'm doing three double crochets in that stitch so you can see that um, it's just going to start making a nice nice square So I finished the blanket. It's really super pretty. It's very soft and cuddly and I think that she's really going to be happy with it for her new baby. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day and you stay safe. Thank you. Bye.